Busy day today. We are at the Columbus Airport. It is 8 p.m. We've got an 840 flight heading to York, Pennsylvania via Baltimore. Uh, we're going to hang out tomorrow with Aurora Casket Company, with Matthews Aurora, at the uh, Matthews plant. Uh, do a little bit of social media jam with some of their team, marketing team, and some of their sales team. Uh, talk about what we do, why funeral homes need to be doing social media, really educate them on the kind of state of social media in the funeral profession. Should be exciting. Uh, and then we're flying back to Ohio. So today, implementing a lot of new stuff in, internally at the office, so a lot of meetings. Uh, took a couple hours, went to a local high school uh, for career day, talked to a digital media class about social media, marketing, what we do at Disrupt, why it's valuable to learn social media uh, and videography and being a creative and how the, the job opportunity is huge for that. So that was fun. Um, now a little bit of business. Uh, really excited to meet with Aurora. This has been uh, we work with their Be Remembered brand already, so we're pretty excited to be able to go and work with their sales team and really jam a little bit about social media and, and what's happening in the marketplace with funeral homes because the shift to online and to social is, is becoming more dramatic and the consumer is fully engaged there, as we've discussed, and we're seeing a lot of great things come to funeral homes who are engaging heavily in social and putting a lot of their time and, and resources directed at marketing and really storytelling. So pretty exciting and, and really looking forward uh, to the opportunity tomorrow to, to jam with their team. Okay, day two, just got to the uh, York Casket facility, which is uh, obviously a Aurora Matthews facility. Uh, so we're gonna do of our jam session uh, with their team some team some people from the marketing team as well as their sales team so it should be pretty good we got in late last night a little bit after midnight um, and now it's uh, early in the morning and we're gonna go do this presentation so yeah it should be a good day pretty excited about it um, should be a fun little jam session good morning we have the great pleasure and I want to thank uh, Ryan and Josh for taking time to be able to come here and really challenge your thought processes on the way that we can help uh, fear homes be able to grow their market share, reach their customer and that ever-changing consumer on the way that they view funeral industry today. And so Ryan's going to challenge some of your thoughts, but I also think that he's going to show you some ways that we can go out as consultants uh, to help these fear homes in ways that we've never been able to before. So without further ado, everybody welcome Ryan Thog Martin with this company. Awesome, thank you. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Um, it takes me back a little bit to when I used to be with Wilbert and our sales meetings, so I know it's a good time. Um, so we are a full service social media agency. What that means is we help funeral homes and companies in the profession. We focus on the funeral profession, uh, create a social media strategy. So what it is that they want to achieve on social media. Is it just driving engagement for their funeral home? Is it increasing pre-need leads? Is it building up the events that they have and things that they do in the community through social media? Whatever that goal is that the funeral home has, we can achieve it through social media. On average, the cost to reach 1,000 people through newspaper, the national average is about $32 to reach 1,000 people. Through Facebook, we can reach 1,000 people for about 25 cents. So the cost of reaching a consumer is much, much less on social currently than what's overpriced in traditional media. So business and we're able to do that. So why Facebook for funeral homes? First, 79% of all internet users in the United States log into Facebook. Almost 80% of anyone that has internet access in the United States is logging into Facebook. 60 Nine percent of all consumers in the United States use Facebook on a daily basis. So a recent Homesteader study said that 66 percent of people over the age of 55 said that they have not yet been contacted by a funeral home to make pre-arrangements. So there are 91 million people in the United States that are 55 plus. So using that number and knowing that 68% of all people over the age of 50, or I'm sorry, 62% of all people over the age of 50 are engaging on Facebook in the United States, 
then that leaves 60 million people that have never been contacted about pre-arranging a funeral. So the market size for people that are 50 plus that have never been contacted by a funeral home to make pre-arrangements is enormous. 34 million using that 62% number that we know is engaging on Facebook would equate to 34 million of those people 55 or older that have never been contacted about pre-arranging a funeral are living and engaging on Facebook. So would you connect the dots and make sense that, a consu uh, that the exact consumer that a funeral home wants to engage with is fully engaging in Facebook and on social media? Is social media working for them? They're always going to say yes, but you can know without a shadow of a doubt it's not. If they say yes, ask them if they're driving leads from it. They're not going to have a clue. So if they're not driving leads, then it's not really working. Um, if they're not getting engagement, most of them are going to tell you, yeah, we do Facebook. Well, what do you post? Yeah, obituaries. I mean, that is what funeral homes default to as what the consumer wants, and it's absolutely not. Then if we're driving pre leads through social media, they're selling more of your product. Like at the end of the day, you win along with everybody else. So, and it's just another reason that they trust you. It's another valuable option that you're bringing into the funeral home. One of the hardest things for me when I was on the vault side of the business, my in-laws own a Wilbur Bear Vault franchise. I worked for them for a few years starting in 2004. That's how I got into the funeral profession. I thought it was a bank vault company, had no idea what burial vaults were, showed up, got duped into it, and here I am today. Do you help um, your clients engage in other platforms outside of Facebook? Or? We do, and, and the reason we focus primarily on Facebook is because that's where the, the largest demographic is that a funeral home wants to engage with. So that 45 to 65 year old, uh, about 68% engage on Facebook. The next network is Instagram, where only about 18% engage. So we have some clients where we manage Facebook and we do Instagram for them because it, it makes a little bit more sense. Generally, we're de dealing with limited funds. Like most funeral homes think that 795 is crazy, but they'll give it a shot. And once they see it, they're like, oh, we're pulling all of our marketing dollars and putting it in social because the return is so much higher. Then we can go into other networks. If we're dealing with a limited amount of money, it makes far more sense to win on Facebook first and then parlay that into Instagram and, and other networks. Any other questions? Awesome. Thank you so much for having me. Really appreciate it. everybody can see I mean obviously this is a shift from the traditional market and the traditional way in which the consumer tries to reach out what I love about it it's actually it's trackable it's measurable it allows the funeral home to be able to actually see the invest the return on the investment that they're making and the traditional ways that we've always done it yellow page billboards all the things that Ryan talked about very difficult to see everybody knows that they have to have marketing everybody knows that they have to participate in it but they just don't know what it's doing for them. And they feel like because they're better at doing it, try to do it. That's what I love about social media. Uh, ben Hamilton and I had the opportunity to join uh, Ryan at the client meeting, and it was phenomenal. I just sat there as a sponge just going from Ryan around what we could help uh, fear homes do. So uh, all I encourage is let's think about becoming a subject matter expert around this, continue to reach out to Ryan and his team to identify that. Uh, other folks that are into social media also because frankly as we talk about being a consultant there's another thing that no one else in the industry a differentiator from other competitors of ours are not talking about they're not experts about it what a way to raise the level of respect that you have inside a firm by being able to spread your way out to help them grow out in the new media and to reach the consumer that's now making the decisions in their market so again I, I, another round of applause for Ryan Perfect. So we'll save travels back. I know right. it's a big commitment. That was good. Kind of tough schedule. That was good. Yeah, uh, it's busy, but we're good. This will be good. Yeah. All right. Thanks we'll a lot, Brent. I appreciate right. it. Okay. Yep. We'll see you Take soon. Take care. Guys. See okay. So here's what happens. You get done with the meeting early. You get to bounce out three hours earlier than expected. Then you get to call Southwest and change your flight so we can actually get back today by 2.45 in the afternoon which gives us a couple more hours to hang out at the office and actually be productive and not sit in an airport. So 
that's part of the funeral hustle. Excellent, so we got through security, we're at the gate, so quick in and out again, uh, even shorter because we were able to switch flight, get out a few hours early, headed back to Columbus. We'll take the next couple days in the office to get ready for ICCFA, and then uh, we'll see you all again in Nashville.